just what I think happened. How can he be positive about anything? I don't understand you people. I mean, all these picky little points you keep bringing up, they don't mean nothing. You are going to try a man for murder. The awesome power to kill will suddenly be thrust into your hands. Watch them and pray, for someday you may become one of them. Twelve men with the smell of violent death in their nostrils. What's the matter with you guys? You're letting them slip through our fingers. Slip through our fingers? Are you his executioner? You cut it. Ever since you walked into this room, you've been acting like a self-appointed public avenger. Shut up. You're a sadist. Twelve men turned into twelve clawing animals. Kill them all. This car could be systematic. Hydromatic. Ultramatic. Why could be grease lightning? Grease lightning. So we'll get some overhead lifters and four barrel quads, oh yeah. Keep talking, walk, keep talking. Fuel injection cut off and chrome padded rods, oh yeah. We get already, ready, I'll you get already. With the four speed on the floor, they've been waiting at the door. You know that ain't the shit where they get licensed. Grease lightning. Madness takes its toll, but listen closely. Not for very much longer. I've got to keep control. Just a jump to the left. Put your hands on your hips. I told you, George, I'm your guardian angel. Yeah, yeah, I know. You told me that. What else are you? What are you? You a hypnotist? No, of course not. Well, then why am I seeing all these strange things? Here. Don't you understand, George? It's because you were not born. Well, if I wasn't born, who am I? You're nobody. You have no identity. Oh, what do you mean, no identity? My name's George Bailey. There is no George Bailey. You have no papers, no cards, no driver's license, no 4F card, no insurance policy. They're not there either. What? Zuzu's petals. You've been given a great gift, George. A chance to see what the world would be like without you. She's going off to college soon. I doubt I'll ever get to go with her again myself when she gets off. Yeah, I never saw what it could hurt to go with her this summer, though. She's never going to marry you. She is, by God. Don't you tell me she won't. She'd never let you screw her, that's for sure. Hell, I'll just see how honest you was. Gee, she'd never let you screw her. You ain't that good a coxman. You never even screwed Charlene Duggs all that time you went with her. Of course I didn't. You know why? Because you had to pick up all time Saturday night. That's why. But nobody could have screwed the time I had I left. I could have screwed her in five minutes. I wouldn't even need no pickup. Oh, yeah? 
Well, the only reason she went with you as long as she did was because you was in the backfield and I was in the goddamn line. What you talking about? Me and her was in love. Oh, you was. She liked me just as much she ever liked you. That's a lie. I'll stay with her all night one of these nights, too. She done promised. You won't either. Yes, I will. Why shouldn't I? She done told me you couldn't even do it that time, Wichita Falls. What about that? <laughs> Singing in the rain, what a glorious feel, and I'm happy again. I'm laughing at clouds so dark up above, and the sun's in my heart, and I'm ready for love. Let the stormy clouds chase everyone from the place. Come on with the rain, I have a smile on my face. I walk down the lane with a happy refrain, just singing, singing in the rain. Dancing in the rain. I can go slow ahead. Come on down and chump some of this shit. idea what you'd have to look forward to if you stayed here? Nine chances out of ten, we'd both wind up at a concentration camp. Isn't that true, Louis? I'm afraid, Major Strauss, I would insist. You're saying this only to make me go. I'm saying it because it's true. Inside of us, we both know you belong with Victor. You're part of his work, the thing that keeps him going. If that plane leaves the ground and you're not with him, you'll regret it. Yeah. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. But what about us? We'll always have Paris. We didn't have, we... We lost it until you came to Casablanca. We got it back last night. When I said I would never leave you. And you never will. But I've got a job to do, too. Where I'm going, you can't follow. What I've got to do, you can't be any part of. Ilza, I'm no good at being noble, but it doesn't take much to see that the problems of three little people don't amount to a hill of beans in this crazy world. Someday you'll understand that. Now, now. Is looking at you, kid.
Knights, I bid you welcome to your new home. Let us ride to Camelot. We're knights of the round table, we dance where we're able. We do routines to call a scene to footwork in Ben Cable. We dine well here in Camelot, we eat ham and jam and spam art. Camelot. No, on second thoughts, let's not go to Camelot. It is a silly place. Right. Right. 